Rondo. Garnett knocks it down and a foul. Six straight points for Boston since that technical. And Garnett with a chance to tie the game. Timeout. ESPN's presentation of the NBA Eastern Conference Finals. But we gotta go do it one play at a time. You gotta go harder than them. You've got to be tougher than them, and we've got to keep going offensively. Those were halftime comments from the two coaches as the emotion and physical play is picked up here in the third quarter. Orlando's lead cut to one. Well, and you just thought Howard gives Garnett an inadvertent shot to the head, and then a mistake by Matt Barnes going under the screen. A turnover by Vince Carter that leads to Ray Allen transition dunk. And then a very good find by, Gar uh, by Rondo to get it to Garnett as he scores out. Right now, you learn what you're about. Can you fight through a run? And they, hey, the Celtics, I give Danny Ainge credit in this. He has put together a team of competitors. And you've got to match their competitive spirit right now if you're Orlando. You talked about at the beginning, when you're ahead, it's okay. But when you get that first hit from the opponent, how do they react? They don't want to react like they did in game three. Lewis, two players on him. Not a good shot there. Barnes knocks it away. Crowd wanted a foul. That was just a good play. Lewis hits the jumper. And Lewis hitting double figures with 10. And he's doubled his scoring output in terms of his series average. And I'm going to say this, on the Magic team, I trust Matt Barnes as a competitor above anybody else. Barnes on Pierce. Pierce has been just terrific tonight. Misses and gets his own rebound. Fresh off that comment, if you're Matt Barnes, great defense, but you have to keep a body on Pierce, not allowing that second shot opportunity. Lewis, his third foul. Celtics will inbound. Barnes brought here for his toughness. He's bounced around the NBA. Seven teams, eight stops in seven years. Played his college ball at UCLA. He's played all over the NBA. Been a role player, but a good one. He's had some good playoff moments. He was with Golden State a few years ago when they beat Dallas in the first round. Played well for Phoenix when he was there. And a moving screen on Perkins. That's his third foul. Perkins, who Doc Rivers calls our offensive lineman, <laughs> trying to block there as he adds to his playoff leading personal foul total. The adjustment by Bonds got burnt going underneath. Pierce shot the jump shot that time, fights over the screen, comes up with the call. Lewis deep to Howard. Good execution there. That's how you're going to get him the basketball. Pick and roll, rolling to the hoop so he gets it in great position. Garnett turns. And rebound goes to Howard. That's Garnett's first miss. And an offensive foul call. Garnett slow to get up. And after drawing that as Howard picks up his third. Howard grabbing his seventh rebound. That's stuff that happens on a lot of rebounds. Garnett was just in the wrong place, wrong time. Or if you're Boston's case, right place, right time to draw the foul. Pierce to Garnett. In and out. And Howard is eighth rebound. 
Midway, third quarter. Inside of Howard, lefty shot won't go. Pierce the rebound. Pierce having another good game on the boards at seven. Rondo, Allen, three-pointer, puts it in. That's bad defense by Vince Carter in transition. You cannot leave the body of Ray Allen. Help comes from somebody else. Carter drives, gets inside, misses, but Howard right there for the follow. 23 now for Howard. Four-point Orlando lead. Perkins to the basket, flips it up, and draws the foul. Perkins upset. He, he got the call. I don't know what he's yelling at Bob Delaney for. So Doc Rivers' offensive lineman will shoot two free throws. I believe Perkins is upset because there's some contact after the foul by Dwight Howard. The drive by Perkins, that's clearly a foul, but on the way down, you can see where both players were going down and trying to protect themselves. But obviously some, fr some frustration from Perkins. So Howard picks up his fourth on the play, and obviously it's gotten chippy here in the third quarter, and going back to what you said, Jeff, now if you're smart, you're looking to draw any kind of contact because you know the officials are going to start to call it tighter. And that foul on Howard right there has a bigger impact on the game for the Magic than any one other than Rondo being in foul trouble for Boston. Because you look at that team out on the floor right now, there's one guy that can create a shot, and that's Jameer Nelson. And you're going up against the best defense in the NBA right now and the heightened intensity of the second half. That's why it's going to be crucial for this span for Jameer Nelson to stay aggressive. He's going to have to make plays for everybody else in form set. Nelson, J.J. Redick, Brandon Bass, Marcin Gortat, and Mike Barnes in there. Two starters. As the Celtics pull within two once again. Everybody fighting over screens now. Barnes on the drive. Shot clock at three. Shot clock at two. Bass. Oh, tough shot from Brandon Bass. Getting his first meaningful minutes of this series, and he's responding a bit. Almost like we've seen great minutes from the Celtics bigs and Glenn Davis and Rasheed Wallace. Well, certainly Brandon Bass has delivered. on the 24. Bass deflects it. Two to shoot. Garnett barely hits the rim. Rebound. Kendrick Perkins. Pierce for three. Bang! Now they see a two-pointer, but he still knocks it down.